welcome back to my channel today I thought I would do a quick video on how to order a custom from Aliexpress so on a lot of the Facebook groups that I'm a part of I see a lot of questions popping up on how to order a custom so I thought I'd do a quick video on how I have ordered my uh, customs so as you can see I'm signed into Aliexpress and if you're part of Aliexpress you would just sign in and it's taken me to my wish list as you can see and up the top I have my Aliexpress my orders my messages etc uh, I go to my favorite stores now for this video I would just be talking about how to order from uh, Evermoment because that is the only store I have ordered a custom from. So if I scroll down and find Evermoment, and there we are there, visit store. Now this may look different on your, right now I'm doing this one on my computer, which is Microsoft. You may be on a Mac, um, it may look different to you, but for right now, I can only concentrate on what I have. Um, so I've clicked on the Ever Moment store, it's taken me to their uh, page, and the first thing that pops up is their custom photo, click on me. I might just move that around so you can see that a little bit. It's a little bit tricky here. Well, hopefully you can still see that so you can click on that so you want to order a custom photo you can click on that it has the sizes that you can buy and you would think that you would just pick the size that you'd want and do a buy now or add to cart that's not how I ordered my custom what I did was you come down here, I bypass all of that, come down here and press the contact on the side of the screen here. If you can see my little hand moving over here. So don't click on over here, don't pick your sizes, don't do any of that. Just go to the contact over here to the side, contact, and it'll have a message box will pop up to Zoe and it is for the custom photo down here so that Zoe will be able to see that this is what you're asking about um, you can press browse and from here upload your photo and send the message to her now if I go back to my Aliexpress and I go to my messages and I can show you where I previously ordered from Zoe and what it looked like so here you can see here I've written hi um, I've sent the message I've kind of sent it out of order the um, photo and this was my message hi I'm interested in having a custom done I will send the picture through to you now. I would like to know cost and size options. Thank you, Natasha. So then Zoe replied to me, um, have a good day. And she's giving me, she's shown me a preview of what my picture would look. And she's recommended um, a 50 by 80. And she's also sent me another one and given me another preview, um, a 60 by 100, which as you can see, if you go further down, it turns out to be a 60 by 90. You can click on this as well, both of these to see. On this particular picture, which is Frida Kahlo, there was not much difference between the two sizes when you clicked on them. So I went for the smaller one. Um, she then provides a link for you to click on um, and then on that link you would pay 
Okay, so I've headed back to my old orders to show you where I have ordered. It's over the page. So this is where I have ordered and she's actually sent me two links. I don't quite know why they do that. Um, one link is for the bulk of the payment and then one was just for two payments for $1.43 Australian. So I've had to click on both of those links, which was in my messages, and I paid for it. And this is where it shows up in my orders that I've paid for this one and this one. It's This second one is just to make up the price difference, if you can see there. It says um, $1 per piece to make up price difference, and that was for the actual painting. So that was $56.81 Australian and then two lots of the $1.43 Australian. And that all added up to make the full payment for the um, painting. Then I, um, from there it was added into cart and paid for. So just going back over it, I've sent her a message, I've sent her my image, I've asked for advice on which size she has sent me two sizes. I'm sure if you messaged her and said, you know, I'm on a budget or whatever, I I'm, I'm specifically want this size, she would be able to help you out with that. I didn't have a particular size in order for when I was ordering this picture. Um, and she's just given me the two best sizes that she thought. And then from here, it doesn't show up now, but there was a, it showed up as a link to where it would take me to the page to add it to my cart. And that, that was the two different sizes in the message. And then I've just replied to her, thank you, I placed the order, have a nice day. She's replied back, well received your order, thanks Natasha so much, have a nice day. And then she sent me one final picture to tell me that it's been sent. So that is how I ordered my custom photo through ever moment just going back so this was the custom photo page so like i said don't worry about doing any of these sizes or anything like this because you really don't know you you might you have your picture but you don't actually know what size will look best zoe will be able to help you with that so just bypass this whole custom photo page here and just go straight down to the contact to the side here now just going back you don't even have to click in this photo custom click on if you didn't want to you can also go straight to contact now on just their main page um, but it doesn't come up with that you're specifically looking for the custom photo you would have to put it in so the easiest thing to do you go onto Ever Moments page. The first thing you'll see is this big square photo custom. Click on me, click on there, bypass all of this stuff, go straight down to contact down here. Let me just scroll that up over to the side. That would be your left. And up here, it's the DIY custom photo. So Zoe will know that that's what you're after and write your message in there and she will message you back um, sizes, costs and then once you agree on yes I like that size, yes I'm happy with that cost, she will then send you another message with the link to the cost of your photo and it may be two links because sometimes you need to pay that extra little two dollars to make up the full amount. It's weird but that's just how they do it. And that's how I ordered a custom. I actually ordered my custom via mobile, not on the computer, but I thought I would just do this one on the computer. And um, yeah, that's how you do it on a computer. And I'll be back to do one um, on how to order on your mobile, just to see if it is different. Okay, so I have my mobile phone out. Uh, to show you how to order the custom on your mobile. I've already opened it up to the AliExpress app. 
If you go to your account and find the Ever Moment store. So we're at the Ever Moment store. You can down here contact seller down the bottom directly, or you can just scroll down, find the custom photo. Um, like I said, don't worry about sizes or item descriptions or adding anything to your cart or buy now. Just scroll down till you come to that part of the store, Ever Moment store, contact seller, and you would click on the contact seller. That's a previous message I sent. Don't worry about that. I'll just show you my chat history on here with her. And I'll see if I can get rid of that. And it's the same thing that was on the computer. Um, I've sent my picture through asking um, costs and size options. And she's replied to me um, with a preview. And she's given me the links. So I would just click onto those links and add them to my cart from here, from your messages that she sends through to you. And that was one preview that she sent to me. And then she also attached another preview, which was bigger. And I went for the smaller one. And from this page, I clicked on those links and added them to my cart and paid. And then I just let Zoe know that I had placed the order. And um, she let me know that they'd received it and that it was on its way. So um, it's pretty... Um, basic really once you get shown how to do it and from this um, I've uploaded a photo it's not showing oh there it is of my dog Stella um, sleeping and um, from this message page um, this is where you would send her your questions uh, we go back so it's just a matter of going to the ever moment store clicking on the little custom photo picture, scrolling down, bypassing um, the sizes and item descriptions, scrolling down, scrolling down, and then contact seller. And from there, you would actually send the message. So you would type your message in there, down the bottom, and you would click the plus button and add your photos click through, add your photos. I won't do a confirm selection because like before, it will send through a photo when I don't mean to. And um, yeah, that's how you do it. And she will get back into contact with you fairly quickly. I think she was in contact with me the next day after I'd ordered, so. And uh, it was a pretty easy, smooth process. I didn't have any problems, um, but I just thought I'd do this quick video because uh, I know this question pops up a lot. Um, and so hopefully uh, that makes it a little bit easier for some of you out there to order a custom. And I'm pretty sure it's probably fairly well the same for uh, a lot of the other stores on AliExpress as well. So yeah, instead of um, clicking on the custom photo and trying to add stuff to your cart, contact the store first and send through a picture of what you want and um, get them to send through sizes and costs to you before you start adding anything to your cart. So, yep, that's my video on how to order a custom. Um, thanks for watching and talk to you soon.